If you choose to make a decision that you clearly know is not of the better good, then that means that you personally choose to play a part of the detriment of humanity. It's that simple. If you are going through a certain situation and you have a couple, two, two or three decisions to make and you know that one of those decisions is a decision that clearly is to be respectful and bow out, do the best part, but you have other decisions that you know simply for a fact that they are going to lead to some form of hurt, pain, detriment, maliciousness. You are the part of the problem. Welcome to Sun Goddess Vibration. So today, y'all, I uh, every Saturday, I choose to give myself um, a really, really, really good meal. I don't know where I'm gonna get it from, but it just has to be really, really good. Cause during the week, I'm really, really kind of like watching what I'm eating. Um, I'm not perfect. I still, you know, do a little bit. You know, I do some of everything, but with moderation. I do a lot of vegetables. I do a, I might do one day where I'm not eating any meat. I might do days where I have soup. And so I, I do love the fact that I do give myself moderation. I am choosing to become more aware of what I'm eating. But right now, where I am at, I'm still eating meat. Eventually, I will be getting to the point where I will remove meat and just stick to vegetables, um, fish, and not too many starches, but you know, a good amount of potatoes, maybe sweet potatoes and stuff like that. So, but today, today I have a beautiful, beautiful steak, macaroni and cheese, and asparagus from Outback Steakhouse. And this is a bone in ribeye. It is so, so good. I love when I get um this from uh, outback so that's gonna be so dope Ooh, i just can't wait to eat it and i also have some steak sauce on the side you cannot do this without steak sauce so and then i also have a piece of bread that's in the oven now listen i may be eating this today but when it comes to monday through friday i am very 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 uh cautious on what i'm eating you know just for now i, I know eventually that i'm going to uh, just remove this out of the way but I'm gonna enjoy it today. All right, oh, no judge. I just grabbed out the oven, um, the bread that they bring, and it's so warm right now. I don't know, I'm gonna open it. You probably can't see the see, but it's warm and it smells good. And so what I'm gonna do is put some of this butter that they gave me inside. Listen, when I do it, I do it right. If I'm gonna eat it and I'm gonna I'm gonna freaking enjoy it. I'm not getting ready to be buying something to not to play around. You know? But when I gotta eat good for myself, I do it. You know? But I need to have a little bit more and more discipline of course but nobody's perfect. Um eventually I am going to get more into just focusing on uh, things that really help me live. You know, not saying that meat eaters is bad, or that meat is bad, it's not. It's just, for me personally, it's what my body is calling me to do. So, um, I wanna answer that. Mm.
Mm. So I got the steak sauce. Mm. I have to show you this steak. Like you have to see. Ooh. I'm so clumsy sometimes. <laughs> All right, look at this ribeye steak though. Like, do you see that steak? It is so, so good, y'all. If y'all have an Outback by y'all, trust me, you will not be disappointed, I promise you. You will not be disappointed. Outback Steakhouse has some of the best steak. Seriously, they really, really are underestimating it. Underestimating it. <laughs> So, this is simply a self-love Saturday for me. Um, you need to give that to yourself and all my goddesses that are joining with me on becoming the best version of myself. I bow down to you too, as well. You know, because we deserve this. We don't always need to focus on the problems that are going on. Yeah, there's problems, but what can you do about the problems? That's what we should be focusing on, which is a solution. And a lot of us don't do that. We just continue to bury um, our issues and bury our problems and bury our thoughts instead of being honest with ourselves and taking accountability of the parts that we play in everything that happens in our life. And instead, a lot, it's sad to say, it's our women, you know? We, we're so focused on, you know, being understood and not enough focusing on understanding. We don't do a lot of understanding, you know? And I think that's a big part of the problem is because we, we just wanna play the victim instead of just saying, you know what, let me remove myself out of it and let me look at it from face value for what it is. It's not sometimes, sometimes you're not always being targeted. You just happen to be a pawn in another person's play. But when you can really, if you truly know yourself, you know that you, there's not, if you're not doing anything malicious of intent, then you should be able to look at the situation for what it is if you know that you're an innocent bystander. So you need to act that way. There's no need to fight. There's no need to try to be something you're not or to prove a point. The point will be proven. And that also goes with relationships, you know what I mean? We don't choose to understand each other. We have expectations on each other that we can't even meet. We have expectations simply because of what we have in our head and what we want instead of just removing that and giving the other person what they want and then that person giving you what you want. And then y'all are continually focusing on giving each other what each other wants. That you're not focused on what you can't do or what the problem is. How much do you really love yourself, you know? How much do you really love yourself when every time there's a situation, it's always something someone else did. It's never something you could have done better or you could have prevented. There's always a way to prevent stuff too on your end. Because nobody's perfect, remember? So you're not. And if you don't want nobody to treat you a certain way, then why treat another person another, the same a way? Why? That's, that means you're a hypocrite. Because how can you preach one thing, but then would do the same thing to another? You don't like a person to be racist, but you choose to say racist remarks and be racist to other people simply because another party is being racist. Let's not, 
it's kind of confusing to me because at the end of the day, it shouldn't matter, right? You should be able to see beyond their illness. You don't make fun of a sick person, remember? That's one thing that I heard Kevin Gates say, yo, and I really, really respect that. What he said is so true. We are so focused on trying to correct another person instead of correcting ourselves. I mean, people, sometimes people are sick. You have to see beyond it and act accordingly. If you love yourself enough, you can't control everything. That doesn't mean it's going to always work. Because some people can just go beyond. There's just some things you just can't fix. And you can't help. And you just happen to be a catalyst in that situation. But at least understand the part that you play. At least understand the part that you play. Yep. This date is so good. Mm. See, this is worth it. This is worth it. This right here is worth it. This is worth it. I just love this vibration. Like, I was blessed. We are blessed. We are blessed people. I'm able to sit here and enjoy a beautiful steak, macaroni and cheese, asparagus, and a roll. I take pride in this moment, and I just, I'm so grateful. Because there are so many people in the world that would love to have this moment. And even in the moments that you're in, no matter where you are, you gotta just be, it just take a moment to breathe and just realize that you are grateful. Just be grateful. You know? Just be grateful. It's hard sometimes. It's so hard. It's so hard. I know. I know. I know how hard it is. When you just want so much, but you can't get the exact vision, so you settle for what you think you deserve or what you think is as far as it's gonna go. It's sad when there's no inspiration. When there's no one that really listens and understands you for who you really are inside. Not for a stigma or something that is outside of ourselves, but for exactly who you are and what you truly want. We're always told that we have to be something else because what we are they it's made fun of but then they go and do what they want and i'm sure someone told them the same thing and they said hell no so why don't you why don't you you deserve that too you deserve to be happy so you have to give it to yourself first so that you don't accept anything less than who you are. I spoke to someone and he said, Where's the Harriet Tubman's? Where are the Rosa Parks? Where are these women nowadays? And when he said that, it hit me because as I looked around, 
I clearly see what he means. We have to take back our territory. We have to be more feminine. We have to get back to our true femininity as women and as goddesses and respect and understand, know that our minds are more intricate, know that we do, um, we are able to control so much in our, in our being. So why choose to be rebellious from those that we truly, truly love and want to have in our life? Why do we always need it to be a certain standard or a certain this? Why can't it just be, you know, I want to understand you and you want to understand me. And let's move forward from here. This is what you're good at. This is what I'm good at. Let's put that together and let's move forward and create. It doesn't have to always be a fight. But we create it because we want something, because we always want this and we always want that. And we have this certain thought of love and this certain thought of that. Instead of just truly just relaxing and understanding the person who, who you're choosing to be with. And making sure that that's who you really want. And stop trying to make them be something that they're not simply because you want it. And you feel like you can't get it anywhere else. So you choose to make that person become something that they're not. Who's really the problem then? Who's really the problem? We're allowing, because we want our own agenda, right? We want our own things that we want in the world. We want to be look good. We want uh, jewelry, we want bags. We want to look like we the best. We want all of this, right? So you going in with an agenda, but then you get mad when it doesn't turn out to be your way. Now it's, it's their fault. But you didn't even go in truly loving them for who they were. How do you expect them to love you for who you are? When you're not even willing to reciprocate this energy. Let's move This is so good. I'm manifesting right now. I'm manifesting. You can see my board back there. It's got all of these little things that I post on there and write. I'm gonna. I'm not done with it. I just started it. I'm gonna add to it, but it's like self love, and I'll show a little clip of it and just things in my life that I want and with my goals and where I'm going and I'll continue to change it up as I go. You know, but it's there for me to look at. But it's time to take accountability as women. Take accountability. You're, you're hurt. You need to heal yourself. You need to Find love within yourself again. That's what it is. Stop trying to latch on to others and have them create your happiness when you're not choosing to do it for yourself. And then hurting others and getting mad when they hurt you simply because you allowed it. We're taking our responsibilities for granted and creating this world that we're allowing because we're going in front of the palace with boy shorts on and eyes out. How do you expect to be given to the king? You're gonna put what you're gonna be put exactly where you belong. So you can't get mad at an outcome that you're creating for yourself. And stop blaming them that are truly freaking amazing out here. Because there are some amazing men out here with beautiful minds, 
beautiful spirits, beautiful souls that are that are literally conforming themselves to what is given because they see no hope. They see no hope for us. I truly love you. I, tr I love everyone. I unconditionally love everyone because I can see that we are hurt. I can see the sickness. I know sickness. I was sickness. I understand what I was and what I am now and where I'm going. My mind is very clear. And when it is clear, it can see the virus for what it is. And it's mental. It is self-loathing and not selfishness. It is narcissism at its finest and sheer disrespect and no care for other people that is going on around us. And people say they want certain things in their life, but then will do the complete opposite of what they're attracting or what they want, excuse me, they're, do, they're doing exactly what they're attracting, but they're doing the opposite of what they want, but doing what they're attracting. You're contradicting your entire life and then blaming and then causing more hurt because you're causing confusion now because you don't know what the hell you really want. Well, you know what you want, but you refuse to do the work to get it. Either way, you're not being a part of the solution. You're being a part of the damn problem. Fix yourself. You keep on grabbing on and grabbing on to extra shit all the time. Where it go? Let it go. Take a look outside of yourself for once. And see what's in front of you. Remove yourself. Love yourself enough to know you are okay. You will not, you're not going to allow nothing to attack yourself if you really love you. And the only way to do that is to see yourself in others and know that if you are hurt, if you don't want no one to hurt you or do certain things to you, then you just don't do it to another person. And if a person is doing that to you, then you see that they are clearly having issues they don't love themselves enough they're focusing on the wrong things so the only you're not going to add to that you remove yourself you allow that person to heal and if they're willing to talk you tell them that Let them know that you're in a different place in your life and that's not going to cut it. And if they love you enough, they'll see that shit and they'll want to heal themselves enough to be on your frequency. But if they say, fuck it, then now you know where you're Now you know where they stand. But we're so scared to let people go that we let them think that shit is okay. It's not okay. You're accepting the bogusness because you're wanting what you want. So you're creating clown moves. You're moving like clowns. I don't even see it. They're really looking at you like clowns. And just doing what they're doing because that's what it is. But that's not what they want. That's not what they want. I can guarantee you that. 
But if, if you think that's what they want, you got another thing coming. Y'all got a rude awakening. And creating a war between men and women. That doesn't have to be created. If we respect ourselves more. I understand each other more. Mm, this is so good right now. I can't stress that enough. You can do whatever you want. You can make your own decision. Everybody who came here with free will. Everything is just placed in front of us. So it's just so for us to use our mind to make the decisions. Everything is about our intentions. Our intentions. That's what's. That's what's. This world is going through the, the issues behind the veil is our intentions. Are you doing things for malicious intent or are you doing things because you truly want to do it and care about it? The, the action and all that shit doesn't really matter. It's just a trickle effect to other things, but it all stems from your intentions. If you don't understand that, then you always going to have a war. Everything is about the intentions of what's going on around you. Mm -hmm. We have to take back control of ourselves. If you choose to make a decision that you clearly know is not of the better good, then that means that you personally choose to play a part of the detriment of humanity. It's that simple. If you are going through a certain situation and you have a couple, two, two or three decisions to make. And you know that one of those decisions is a decision that clearly is to be respectful and bow out, do the best part. But you have other decisions that you know simply for a fact that they are going to lead to some form of hurt, pain, detriment, maliciousness. You are the part of the problem. Think about it. You're a part of the problem. Because you're focused on letting you're focused on the other person and what they think. Clearly, you're only focused on that because you either feel like they're gonna judge you, you, you have to feel some form of way that you have to get back at them. That's an ego issue. So that means that that's clearly a problem there. You're focused on the wrong thing. You're not focused on the truth, love, and care of yourself and what your legacy, what you have. You're going off of emotion. But a person will tell you the opposite, that you're going off emotion by not saying nothing. When really, you understand what it feels like to attack another person. So we're put in a place to have to make a decision based off of a thought process of someone else and based off what we know is right.
Faction Facts. Nobody's perfect. We keep trying to create expectations all over the board. Nobody's perfect. We're all just needing, in need of healing. The whole world. This is thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of years of pure healing needed because people simply allow negative forces to take hold of them instead of choosing to make the better decisions to better their life and others. And if you choose to hate another person for anything other than an external problem, then you're a problem. Because you gotta think about it. You can't, you can't hate. How can you hate someone's makeup of who they are as a human? You don't have to like them. You don't have to mess with them. You don't gotta be around them. But you don't gotta worry about that 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 person will go through what they're going through. You don't know what they went through in their life. And if you're not a, trying to be a part of the solution, at least feeling like, okay, I wanna go be a part of helping that person learn how he how to be. If you're not really saying I wanna truly actually really fucking care about this person, like really care about this person. Then mind your business. Because that's the only way you're really going to be a part of the solution. That is not ju judging them and throwing them in the But you're not really trying to understand them. Just focus on what you can change in this world then. Be a part of the good thing. Condemning another person is not being a part of that. You're just creating more hate. Because you're making people hate themselves. That's creating hate. Whether you like it or not. This. You have to see this. Sorry. Do you see this? Look at this. so charred like perfectly I just am so <laughs> I'm so loving this thing right now mm. There's nothing like truly understanding you or who you are as a person and what you truly want. When you go backwards before the pain, before the issues, before all the problems, before you know you were, you felt like everything was against you. Or in those times when it was building up, but it didn't get that bad. Or those things you used to think about, the little fun things you always wanted to do. The person you really thought you wanted to be. Go back there. The house you thought you wanted to live in, the apartment, how you wanted to decorate, the things you wanted to do, where you wanted to go what city you were gonna live in, go back there. That's where she's at. She's there. She's right there. She is waiting for you. She's waiting for you to grab her hand 
and take the next steps together now, instead of leaving her there. He, she, either. If it's a guy watching this, girl watching this, it doesn't matter who you are. I'm saying she because I'm a she, so I'm going off of that vibe, but my, my point is, is this, go back there. You can't change the past. You cannot change it. But then they say, can you? Can you really change the past though? Think about it. They say you can't. We need to start learning how to go beyond what we think things are because it's beyond us. We're choosing to think that we can't change it. The reason why is because we're, we're only basing it off of what we're taught to think that's gonna happen. But anything is possible if you try. So can you really change the past? You can change the past. You wanna know how? You change the past by spiritually and mentally going back in your mind to those days that you were hurt. You take those days and you embrace them and you go through them and you see the things that you know you could have done different. Even if there wasn't many things you could have done different. But then you look at it and see where are the parts that you know you allowed yourself to keep going and keep going. That means you're strong. Not everyone is give, is dealt with a hand like yours. So you're clearly you're not, if you're if you're one of someone watching this and that and you are no longer in that situation, but it did happen to you. But right now you are able to create your entire life, but you're choosing to focus on exactly what happened that you cannot change. You, this is what I'm, I'm speaking to you. If you truly are not happy, like truly happy within yourself right now with your life, I'm talking to you. And what I'm telling you is that you have the power to make and create your entire reality. You have the power. You have the power to change anything. Sometimes you do want to focus on another person and what they think, but not to the detriment of yourself. Sometimes it may hurt, but it's better that you let them go or release the situation so that it does not continue to be something that builds into something worse than what it is. But we choose to not do that. We choose to, to go down the line with something just to wait till the last minute to bow out of it. When we already knew that it wasn't because we are not take, we're not understanding ourselves enough to know what we do want and what we don't. Take the time. Take the time to sit back with yourself and go back in those times where any areas that you feel like you still need some healing from. You go to it and say, why does this hurt me? Take accountability. Take accountability of who you are as a human being, as a person who cares, who wants to be cared for. Because if you want to be cared for, then you have to be a person that cares. If you want to be cared for, you have to be a person that cares. You're only going to get what you give out. You're only going to get what you give out. That's just what it is. If you focus on the negative, if you think something bad's gonna happen, if you're focused on this and focus on what somebody said, you, that's, that's because, that, you come on, if shit happens, nobody's perfect. But if you're, if you're focusing on the wrong things, you're not focusing enough on the good things. And if inevitable happens, then it happens. Your life doesn't end. It doesn't. 
You just got learned more. That's why you have to love yourself enough to not be so attached to things. Because you leave in love. You're only here for yourself. But that doesn't mean understand what part you play in other people's lives. And you, you deserve to take accountability for the part that you play. So if you choose to be manipulative and choose to go in with intentions that are not pure for another person, you play a part of whatever they're going through too. And they play a part of however you turn out. It's just a cycle. So before you put yourself in that energy, make sure you're, in, you're ready to take on whatever energy they're able to bring. And be understanding of what the outcomes may come. Even though you are a victim and you care about yourself, if you are a victim, then you don't want another person to feel like how you felt. You have to take better care of yourself. You have to give yourself the proper care, the proper healing inside, so that you're not spreading it and projecting it onto others. Normalize not jumping into relationships simply because we want to be with someone instead of being with ourselves enough to know ourselves enough. Normalize that. Being actual, when you're dealing with a guy, don't lead him on to think that it's going to be something that is not, but let, them, let you both have an understanding that there could be. There could be. And if they're willing to go the mile with you, then that's someone to look into. But that doesn't mean jump the bones with somebody just because, oh, y'all met and now y'all like, yeah. no, take your time. We don't need to be in a relationship. It's okay. Why? You need to have that time. They, they let them be free to do what they want to do. And you're free to do what you want to do. Actions speak louder than anything. Because when a person wants you, they'll make it known. And when you want someone, they'll make it known. You can't play games. Men don't like games. So keep it real from the jump. Don't try to create something that is not either. Especially if you see a form of narcissism somewhere. You saw it first. You should know yourself enough to protect yourself enough that some of these men out here are narcissism, narcissists and they don't want to admit it. A lot of women too. Women too. Excuse me. Men and women. But you have to peep them when you peep them. This is not a men hate or a woman hate. This is both understanding that we have to take accountability of, of the parts that we play. And not always blaming the other person and making it seem like they're the only problem when really, let's be real, you wasn't really giving them, you was only the one really wanting the attention. You wasn't trying to give up that good attention to. No. Play your part. If you want to be, you want that, you have to be it. You have to be it. You have to be it. Mm. I'm just saying. It doesn't make sense. That's our babies, our children. It's the they are watching us. Watching us. What part of 
part are you going to play? Really, what part are you going to play? No one cares anymore. It's all fun and games. They're crying out and they're saying this. Are you listening? They really listen. Yeah, you can be mad and blame and blame. That's okay, but what are you, what part are you gonna play? Remove the blame. Okay, it's there. Now, what is the solution? How are you gonna be a part of it? How are you gonna be a better woman? How? How can you exude love in the best way you can? How can you walk and just give light to others? How can why 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 can't we do that anymore? Where where did we go? Where did we go where we can't just be understand? Be respectful, but still understand the parts we play. We can still be everything we want to be, but don't forget who you are. And you are a woman. choice to create whatever legacy you want but yet we choose to do to allow our emotions and how we feel and everybody else and what they say to end us up into getting pregnant and doing all of these things that is what that is just chaotic instead of understanding the home structure and and what you're truly trying to build and bring into this world and how it's going to impact another person we're actually out here doing it frivolously now. Like it doesn't mean you don't even care about the well-being of what you're bringing into this world to attach and attach to another. I think that's really, really, really serious, don't you think? A little, a little much for me that we don't care about our legacies anymore. That we're so drawn on what everybody else is saying and being sexual and being with this person and that person that we're willing to give up on a tr our true abilities that we were born to give to the world. And raise it up graciously. That's it. People are so ego, 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 and pride thrown that they truly don't give a damn about no one but themselves. They do not care about how they impact anybody but themselves. And that's because they don't see themselves as something special. Special enough to be able to make a good impact. Special enough to be able to be something that was perfectly bred on this earth to be something special. Because we don't take the time to find that special in us. First, before we choose to attach to someone else who clearly either may or may not even know themselves. 
But then we may get into the relationship with someone that does know themselves, right? But then because we don't know ourselves and not see so much that we can go, how can we cheer them on if they can? So then we dilute another person's life that was really, 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 really on fire until they were told that it's not realistic. And they need to do something else better for the big bang bang. It's kind of sad. Let's normalize playing positive parts in people's lives. Let's normalize not jumping to the number one negative decision that comes up every time that we have one in our head. Let's normalize not allowing others to have a part in any decisions that we make in our life. It only, yes, they could, as far as giving you an insight of something you clearly didn't know but needed to know, that's a difference because we're given those things. But simply because of a thought process of what they may think, but not simply because you truly, truly, truly want it, then not making that decision, I'm just, Sometimes we don't make decisions that we truly do not want to be the best decision for us, yes. But that's when you learn from it. But guess what? It feels better because going into it, it felt amazing for you. And you got a chance to learn something that now you know. And now you're able to see the difference so that when another person comes to you, you can explain to them why certain things didn't work out. Doesn't mean it won't work out. And maybe they can do another part better. Because there's always different ways of doing the same thing. It's not just one way. Let's normalize taking different routes and not stopping at the destination simply because someone said no. Or simply because something went wrong. But because it just didn't work that time. Maybe I need a little bit of more knowledge. And maybe I need to take my time next time. And maybe it's not the other person's fault because I should have did my, my research, did more work on it before I even went into it to know that maybe it wasn't going to be that right so i can't blame them i have to blame myself and say okay okay let me do better next time not a problem why not i can always be better the world doesn't end and i don't end. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Thank you guys so much for coming through and uh, watching me eat on that steak. It was so, so, so good. And um, again, just learn, let's love ourselves more. Let's learn to truly go through all of our lessons, learn our lessons, heal our lessons, and then focus on jumping into something with someone else. 
And then when we get there, we're able to understand and truly go in for the right reasons and not because we're going in for agendas. You know? Who's the agendas? But yeah, have a boundary and have an expectation on exactly what you want for your life, but allow the person to be able to provide that the way they know how and understand it if you truly want to be with them. Or be able to create it for yourself too. Goals should automatically be that regardless of with who you're with. It doesn't matter. No one is here to, to fix your life. You can only be the only fixer of your own life. So, until next time. You guys, please like and subscribe uh, to my channel. I have not been posting like that because this is new to me. To finally come out and really be uh, posting videos like that. I normally stick to myself and I'm going through my own journey. But I truly, truly, truly feel the necessity to uh, embrace and pour out my love to everyone in the world. Because it's needed right now. Um, and um, I want this to be a platform for that. So I am going to use this platform and use myself as an example in life on what giving unconditional love to all is. Um, and I will not stop from that. That is what I believe in. That is, if you want to call my religion, I do believe in unconditional love, the highest frequency involved. And I know that, um, now that I know that, I plan on enjoying my life with understanding now. Um, God has blessed me so, 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 so much. Um, because now uh, that I know what's going on in my life and around me, I am able to make the better decisions that cause me to get to enjoy um, my own dream that I create for myself. And that's a blessing because sometimes it's not easy for others. But one thing I don't do is uh, make excuses. I earned it and I know I earned it. I earned everything that's coming to me and everything that um, God has given to me in this world. I earned it because I choose to go the other way. I choose to make the better decision. Um, for myself and for the other person that involved. Um, even though sometimes we get angry, and it's hard, and it does get hard. But it's bigger than you. And when you realize it's bigger than you, you get taken care of automatically because now you're doing the work outside of yourself. So let God do the rest for you. Yeah, and that's how he works. Be your own attraction. Be what you want to attract. It will come to you. Everybody enjoy, enjoy, enjoy your day. Whenever you reach this video, this was meant for you. If you've gotten this far in the video, this video was simply for you. Like I said, if you got this far in the video, please like, Please, please, please like and subscribe. Um, I will be providing more videos now. And uh, you have a wonderful night.